Hey guys, what's up? This is Gum. Welcome to Dark Souls 3 on the PC. It is like a month after it released in like Japan on the Xbox and a whole bunch of people have been playing it, but not me because I'm a pure soul. I waited for the PC version and it is here. We're going to be playing with it, everything maxed out. Hopefully we get a smooth 60 FPS because otherwise then we should just play the Xbox version or something, right? But this should be... Interesting, since this is the last of the Souls franchise, there might be more Souls-like games from From Software, but this is the last Dark Souls, which means there's probably going to be some pretty intense shit going on, and maybe even a little bit of lore tying up. Or maybe it won't tie up the lore. It, at least not directly. Maybe things will just kind of be like, Ah, oh, you're actually back in Lodron doing this stuff, ooh. And I say that, but like, come on, I haven't played those games in a while, right? The last time, the last Souls-like game I played was Bloodborne, and that was a year ago. So I'm going to be incredibly rusty, and hopefully, hopefully I can get rid of the rust as soon as possible. Otherwise, I would get my ass kicked. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. You know, I'm so glad I don't live in the Dark Souls world. This, like, constant cycle of death and undeath going on, and yeah, at the same time, we're all still, like, knights and shit. Uh, okay. So let me... Let's get ourselves set situated. We're gonna be... Gum. Male age. We'll just leave it as young. Class. Now, this is something I don't know what I am going to be in. Uh, because I haven't researched any of this. We're probably gonna be with Knight. Just because that seems to be in line with what we're used to. But what about other stuff? So, let's see. We have the assassin. We have the sorcerer. Sorcerer starts with a couple of 
of magic spells. I don't know how I want to play. I feel like in Dark Souls, I I like to play safe shield sword and before I ever ever be like, yeah, I'm gonna be full on pyromancer, full on sorcerer. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna choose knight. Burial gifts, now what do these do? Ring set with a small red jewel, raises max HP. Uh, full restores HP and cures ailments. Fully res restores FP. Hmm. The sovereignless soul of one who slept beside you. Uh, bur burial item for good fortune after death. Greatly increases short or item discovery for a short while. Hmm. I mean, out of all of these, I guess I'd go for the life ring? Because all of these are kind of meh. All of these are like one-use items, and I hate one-use items. Because unless I have like three of them, I just sit there going, I, I don't, I don't want to. Okay. We are internally deciding that we don't fucking need this guy to look like me. Because, uh, it's never gonna happen. So if I wanted to, I could just start going crazy with him. I can make him a ridiculous badass samurai. Yes. With the frizzle head network, I, I do like this. He's disciplined. He's ready to fight. But he's also ready to panic if need be. Okay, we're spending too much time here. Voice. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is that one? <laughs> I guess that's the falling to your death sound, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus, that one sounds like a fucking demon. <laughs> wrong with these guys? Fuck it. Okay. We're going... We're going with the truth. Oh. Okay, we're being a thief. We're gonna see where this ends up leading us. This could suck, but at the very least, Dark Souls is one of those games where at the... You can kind of change things up eventually. Amazing. 2016 in the first first moment we see our character, we're just clipping our arms through our bodies in such a weird way. Control camera. I know how to control the damn camera. Ugh. I'm just gonna make sure there's no items just directly behind us. Alright, let's get our our bearings down in terms of controls. Shield, okay. Parry! Like I'm gonna get those off. Ha ha ha! Gone being good at parries? Fuck that shit. Oh, hi there! No. Well, they get us started quick! They just start attacking us from the get-go. This is... I have no idea where the hell we are. But it is called Lothric. This place is sketchy. I'm looking up because I don't trust... ...any kind of places that just kind of lead into a dead end. But maybe the devs are kind. Maybe they don't fucking immediately murder you two minutes into the game by dropping a trap on you. But that's the best moment to do it! It's gonna teach you life lessons, kid! That's how the real world works. Alright. Time to parry all the beginning enemies and feel good about myself for a solid, like, 60 seconds. Ashen Estes Flask? What the fuck is an Ashen Estes Flask? I guess that restores my blue bar. 
the blue bar that I would use for like magics and things like that. I like how he slightly adjusts himself. Like, did he know that I was behind him at the last second? Or is it just the animation? The fuck? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I pressed the parry button. There we go, around the shield button. Why are you doing this to me, friend? Alright guys, I have to try hard mode. I can never use the shield. The shield is forever banned. It's not really. Turn back. You're not the boss of me. I do what I want. You know, I mean, it's a good suggestion. How's that? <laughs> okay, I get like a dodge thing that burns through my my FP. Ooh, that was a quick little stab. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it actually was because of. Yeah, that's not the split attack. But it seemed really nice and quick. Whoa, whoa. So I'd like to try to avoid getting immediately murdered by giant crystal creatures. I think I had enough of that from Hyper Light Drifter for a while. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Maybe that's like the second area of the game. Or maybe it's just one of those big enemies at the beginning of the game that we got here. Rest at Bonfire. Well, I mean, if you're gonna give me one so fast, why not? A lot, of people told, a lot of people told me they were crashing in the first bonfire, so I'm glad I didn't have that, but we don't trust anything. Ah! It gets rid of the parry in order to do those dodges. I'm glad you missed, because that would have been a really delayed thing. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a bit of health in order to really do damage. What in the hell happened to you? <laughs> it's just sliding around. <laughs> Did he just fall to his death immediately? I don't know. But there is something maybe down here. Hello. Yeah, we, we don't do this. We let them come to me. I'm not getting shot, man. Not at the same time. I would have deserved that if he had hit me. <laughs> Sitting here trying to loot in the middle of a small battle. Ooh, firebombs. Time to waste that on the first boss I see. Come, you have a bow. I do. That's part of what my starting kit is but I'd rather not use it immediately. Oh, that is... Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be going all over the place. I am incredibly rusty when it comes down to controls for this game. And the last game I played on the Xbox One controller was Hyper Light Drifter. So I'm gonna sometimes press X to attack. It's gonna be like when we played Dark Souls 1. I press X to, like, attack, and then I just end up healing. Oh, this looks like a boss. Hmm. This is quick. Look at all the fucking red splashes. I love this. You don't see any of their actual, like, movement animations. They just slide around and die. Or just fade off. Woo, woo, woo. 
<laughs> no, I could just go past you, or the door could be locked. Damn. You never know unless you try, you know? Alright, so how the fuck does this one work? What the hell's this? Oh, I can, like, quick fire. Okay. That's something. Yeah, I don't know how much, how useful that's gonna be to me. What the hell is coming out of that dude's back? Woohoo! He turns that shit around quick! I deserve that! Gonna heal up real quick. All right. Oh shit! What the fuck? Looks Judix, Judy, 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 Judy. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm sure there's an ointment that can shake this shit. Just don't, you know, do whatever the fuck you're about to do. Oh, Jesus. Ow. I can't even attack where his attacks are gonna- <laughs> Attack where his attacks, well. I can't tell where his attacks are gonna go. Wasn't that bad? Ember restored. Ooh. Neat. I'll take it. I don't know what the hell that was about. <laughs> Giant fucking like ink monster comes out of his back. Or I guess. What would you refer to it as? Like oil corruption? I don't know. That wasn't that bad. You just roll and stab. Probably the easiest first Dark Souls boss I've ever fought. Fucking... The demon at the prison was harder than that. Oh. I love it when enemies are left with, like, barely any help. No, give me the item! Oh, it's gone. It is gone. All right, let us explore around a little bit. Check around the majority of corners. Look at this jackass just chilling at the edge. Watch that, he's probably like a trap. You probably go to stab him and then somebody else comes to kill you. Apparently there's a bonfire back here. That's an interesting place for it to be. But I will light it, even though I don't know if I'll ever come back here. If I did have to come back here, let's be honest, it was like a hill's distance away. One of those kind of minor misses. Very, very minor. Ow, shit. There's an unseen enemy! We must take him out! Are you gonna... You gonna you gonna do anything? Attack me! Okay, ow! Alright, I deserve that. I deserve that. Ooh, that goes long. I probably should, uh, should heal. Let me see what we got. Key items. Thrust in a shrine, bonfire, to activate. Bonfire warp. Okay, so that's not an actual 
sword we can use. Then there's this broken straight sword, which we're not gonna... We don't need. We don't need that. We got my thief knife. It'll last me like a solid, like, two areas. Or just the beginning place. I don't know. Monster ahead. Really? Woo! It's doggy! Hey there, friend! I wouldn't call this dog a monster. He's just misunderstood. A lovely dog that was abused. Ooh, embers. But anyways, a lovely dog that was abused by its previous owner. Don't you know, there are no bad dog breeds. Only bad dog owners. And the owner of that dog must have been pretty goddamn bad. Ooh. Ah, safe zone. I like that. Firelink Shrine. This does feel cozy. You know, minus the fact that the thrones there are kind of like... There's a little bit of embers going on in them. Fire doesn't make me feel safe, because fire's bad. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones, and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Alright, so you want me to get the lords of cinders and bring them back here. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Okay! Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Okay, don't make this awkward. I just want to level up, lady. What in the heck do I even level up? It looks like they got rid of agility, which is great, because it was really goddamn stupid that there was a stat dedicated to making your dodge roll better. <laughs> like, no, just make my dodge roll universally decent so I can always know what my invincibility frames are. That's just silly. Uh, we can increase our luck. Be really ridiculous, or I can increase other things. Uh, if I increase my dexterity, for example, that would increase my general damage and some of my resistances. Or I could go for other things like endurance and increase my stamina. Oh, jeez. I do not know what I want because we have no idea what kind of build I'm gonna go. Like, I could go Dexterity, and go for really speedy kind of weapons. And that's kind of sort of what we did with Dark Souls 1, we went, like, a lot of Dex. But it might be good to also get some other things, like Faith, or Intelligence, so I can, like, kind of... ...do two things at once. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this. <laughs> There's going to be an infinite number of souls that we can get from the rest of this game. We'll be fine. Ha! Huh, it's... It's, uh, seems familiar. Well, she does look like the ladies from Dark Souls 2. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. That guy looks pretty damn familiar, too. humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. Okay, do you sell them for cheap? I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> okay, let's see what you got. Uh, a ton of things, actually. Holy shit. Arrows, armor, a torch. I'm gonna just buy this torch since that's all I can really grab. I might need light, man. I might need light. I can get this dagger. What does it compare to with my current item? Is there a compare thing? Not entirely. Well, we don't need it. We'll be fine. Fashion one. Hello there, blacksmith. Well, a 
newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith your weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. I like this guy. He's one of the few characters in all of Dark Souls who moves their mouth when they talk. Uh, oh, you need shards to fucking upgrade these things too. Damn. All right. But I can infuse my weapon with souls. What does that do? Oh, I have to use gems. And that would change it. Raw bandit knife, raw refined bandit knife. Ah, these things. That stuff. Okay. A lot of uses for each Estus flask. Ooh. That's really interesting. That's kind of an in-depth thing. We're gonna go for health. Because I don't use FP at the moment. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder, or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. Yeah, I like it when weapons don't break either. Okay, At least you can get careful. them repaired at bonfires. That's nice. What's here? Secret ahead. Does look like it would lead somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, at the moment it doesn't, so we're just gonna keep on exploring Firelink Shrine. It's kind of, uh... This reminds me of the starting hub in Demon Souls. I know I only ever put like four hours into Demon Souls, but in Demon Souls you start off with a place kind of like this. Just one big place that you can teleport to, and buy stuff from, and level up, and that's kind of what's going on in this place. So that's neat. Don't know if it's something I'll prefer, but I guess, in, to be fair, in Dark Souls 2, we had, like, a big hub area as well. God, I can't even remember the name of it. But it was that little town. Hello. Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. Oh, what about this one? Yorm the Giant of the Profane Capital. Okay, yeah, just all the people that were introduced inside of the starting area. This is interesting. I should definitely take this. Happiness ahead. But which direction? Ooh. Burn undead bone shod. And then I could also travel to all these different places we've been to. Alright, time to be incredibly lost as to where I should go. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. The Mark of Ash will guide thee to the land of the Lords. To Lothric, where the homes of the Lords converge. Uh... Ashen One, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen oh, hello. There's a new dude I gotta talk to, and he looks like my new buddy. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. He's gonna be super skeptical about my journey, but at we the same time, he's gonna have a little bit of faith. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. Yeah, he's a bit pessimistic. That's fine. Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Collapse. <laughs> he gave me a fucking depressing <laughs> um, emote. <laughs> Bow. No. No, we're not bowing. Instead, we will collapse. Oh god! Everything is pointless and worthless! What are we even fighting for? Oh, I can actually just stay here too. 
No, I'm good. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends, those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> Come on, you gotta have a little bit of optimism in ya. Alright, we're gonna fucking out of here. What a sick joke. They expect us to deal with the Lords of Cinder. Not even fit to lick their boots. They just kick so much ass. Including ours. Well, you know, that's why we're on Kindle. That's how come we can just keep going, keep on fighting. Yeah, we might lose some souls here and there. What the fuck was that? We'll be fine. I swear to you. I just heard, like, a growl. Okay. Ooh, there's items above. Ha ha ha! Then I will climb up the staircase, but I need to figure out where I need to go. I don't know if I have to head back out this way and then venture off to a different direction, like, say, over there. I don't even know if I can go over there. Or if this is... There's like an exit on the back side of Firelink Shrine. Oh, hello. That might be where we have to go. Right up the staircase to the right. But first I must explore. 